Today we are going to be making a citrus exfoliating whipped soap scrub. And this citrus soap scrub smells amazing. It is great for handmade gifts, or you can just make it and keep it for yourself. I have all the supplies that we're going to be using laid out on my table here, but don't worry, I will have a supply list with links in the description of this video. We're going to start by measuring out our whipped soap base. So I've got a scale here, I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna place my bowl on top. And then I'm going to reset that to zero. Then we're gonna open this up. And I want about eight ounces. So I'm just gonna scoop some soap out and keep putting it in the bowl until I have eight ounces. We have exactly eight ounces. And with a hand mixer, we're going to whip that soap base for about two minutes. There you can see it is nice and fluffy, much more fluffy than when we first put it in there. I'm going to add one ounce of jojoba oil and one ounce coconut oil. And you want to add about one and a half milliliters of essential oils. And that's about 30 drops. And I'm using grapefruit and mandarin to get my yummy citrus smell. So we're going to do 20 drops of grapefruit and 10 drops of mandarin. And we're going to pour that into our soap base. And then again, we're going to mix for about two to three more minutes. And there is our whipped mixture. It really kind of reminds me of meringue. It's nice and fluffy. For the final product, I want to have two shades of yellow. So I'm gonna bring in another bowl and I'm gonna divide about half of the mixture into this other bowl. And we're gonna do one a light yellow and one a dark yellow. I have my yellow gold mica powder and we'll make this blue bowl our light bowl. So I'm just gonna sprinkle just a little bit in there, but then I want more in our big bowl here. So I'm gonna put in some more in that one. This is also when we bring in our exfoliant and I'm gonna be using some organic coconut sugar and I'm just gonna put a little less than a quarter teaspoon in each bowl. Then I'm gonna start with my lighter bowl and we're gonna mix this one up. So there's our light yellow, it's very light. And now we can come over here to our darker yellow. And I'm not quite getting the bright, bold yellow that I want. So I'm also gonna come in with just a little bit of red and try and orange that up just a little bit. There we go, that is a much better orange. So we have our orangish and yellow. I've got an eight ounce jar that we're going to put our soap into, but I don't wanna just plop it in there. I want to make it look cute and fancy. And to do that, I'm going to use a piping bag and tip that you would use like for frosting. So I'm gonna push that tip down in there and see about where I need to cut it. So I need to cut it just about right there. You don't wanna cut it at the top, you wanna to cut it just at the bottom. So I'm even just gonna make a little mark. I know that's kind of hard to see. And then I can push my tip through that hole. To get my two-toned uh, soap, I'm gonna grab a piece of plastic wrap. Then I'm gonna scoop out my light yellow and scoop my orange. And then I'm gonna lightly roll them together. I'm gonna open my piping bag. And scoop them in there carefully. And then I can start pushing that through. There you can see. I've got my jar and I'm just gonna pipe that whipped soap into my jar in circles. And there is our cute little jar of whipped soap scrub. 
So we got three eight ounce containers out of our eight ounces of whipped soap. So that means it will expand to about three times its size. But aren't these so cute? Mm, and they smell so good. All that's left is to wash your hands and try out that exfoliating citrus whipped soap scrub that you made. If you want more fun craft tutorials, make sure to check out my website, thecraftyblogstucker.com. Thanks everyone. Bye and happy crafting.